Hi Aries, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading for the time period January 19th through the 25th, alright? This is going to be what are their true intentions in love with you, alright? And before we get started, uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for all the likes, sh sh shares, subscribes, comments, and also the personal readings, okay guys? So I hope you guys are all well here, and um, as usual I have two decks for, you know, repeaters here for a more uh, undeniable message here. Don't forget your moon and your rising and your Venus, guys, and you can get your chart at cafeastrology.com in case you don't know those uh, those signs, okay? I am going to be going over to Vimeo, you guys, later in the reading to discuss what they are hiding, uh, fearing, the potential here between you guys and their true intentions with you, okay, over on Vimeo, okay. Now, um, the bottom of the deck, Aries, is the, beg your pardon, the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords. So, somebody is, you know, clearly stuck up in their head about a situation, um, and they don't know what to do about it, all right. Okay, so let's see as we get into the reading. Let's pull a couple of these, uh, Goddess Guidance cards, all right? What does Aries need to know in love? What does Aries need to know, please? What does Aries need to know? We have Cordelia, go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. These are the Goddess cards, and, excuse me, they are about love, but they are also just about self-love and um, life itself. Okay, let's get another card. Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. <laughs> okay, and next is Divine Passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your true heart's desire? Okay, let's get let's get a couple of these Romance Angel cards. What does Aries need to know in love? What does Aries need to know in love, please? And we have Finances and Career. Financial Issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay? That could be the case here. We see the Ten of Pentacles showing up, which talks about money uh, or stability within um, within a union. We'll get one more card. What does Aries need to know? In love, please. And we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I feel like all that is talking about, Aries, is that you may be dealing with somebody who is does not have the same values as you, okay? So let's get started, guys. Your current energy, Aries, is the uh, Three of Pentacles, the Three of Wands in the reverse. And your past energy is the Nine of Pentacles. Your senior partner is the Chariot. Their current energy is the Queen of Swords. Their past energy is the Five of Wands in the reverse, and they are seeing you as the Five of Cups. The current situation between you two is the Empress. The challenge is the uh, Virgo card, which is the Hermit. And what they are hiding is the Four of Swords. What they are afraid of is the Nine Knight of Wands. And the potential between you guys is the Nine of Wands. The outcome is the Nine of Swords, okay? That is their true intentions, okay? We're, I've already clarified the cards, guys, and they do take on a different life once they are clarified, all right? Your current energy right now, Aries, I feel like you are on a new path, on a new journey, by yourself here, after a third party here, or just after you were in a situation, you know, where there was stagnancy, you know, you couldn't make any plans, you couldn't, you know, make things work for you, okay, with somebody, okay. Your past energy, uh, you're showing up here as the magician you are, and uh, also you are the Nine of Pentacles in the past. I feel like in the past you were able to manifest something, or you felt like you had all the tools to become single here and create abundance for yourself, okay. You're seeing your person as the chariot, with the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, this is what I mean by the Romance Angel cards, you know, about stability and uh, financial, you know, issues here. But the Chariot, you are seeing them as taking control with their life and moving forward. You could be also seeing them as moving house here with the Chariot um, and that they are doing so successfully 
And there is, you know, you can be married to them um, with the Ace of Pentacles is the Ten of Pentacles rather is the card of union, you know, a relationship with stability in it. You're seeing them as being abundant. Um, you could be seeing them as just your partner and there is abundance between you guys or there was, but they're taking, you know, action in their own life here and it does have to do with moving forward and regarding financial stability, all right? Their current energy is the Queen of Swords. So, you know, right now they are I feel like they could just be scorned here. That's I don't even feel like they're really looking for answers here. The Queen of Swords is usually the, you know, the queen. She does ask for answers. She actually demands honesty. Um, they could be seeing, you know, their energy could be really that you are the one who is demanding honesty from them because they are the Seven of Swords, sneaky energy. The Page of Pentacles is in the reverse here with the King of Cups in the reverse here. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is sneaky and, um, you know, they could have offered you something here, uh, maybe recently. The Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse can mean, you know, something that is just not working out, maybe like a new start. It can also mean somebody who is not really earnest, right? Somebody who doesn't come forward. Whatever they offer is not really any stability in it because it is not entirely, like, honest or genuine. They also have the King of Cups in the reverse, which is somebody who could possibly be somebody who is manipulative. They drink too much. Uh, they don't have to have a drinking problem, but the King of Cups in the reverse is somebody who is uh, does not handling their emotions well, and most of the time is somebody who's manipulative, a player, um, and just you know, full of just full of lies and things like that. As the King of Cups, okay. Now, their past energy is the Seven of Wands with the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. They gave up in a situation and they either left you out in the cold or they gave up because they were left out in the cold. And it is about love because the Knight of Cups is here, all right? They could have also just offered you something in the past here and, you know, they could have gave up after you have left them out, right? Now, they're seeing you as the Five of Cups. It is the Sad card with the Eight of Cups in the reverse and the High Priestess here. They're seeing you as very sad. They're seeing you as not being able to move on. Wow. Um, because of, you know, maybe because of secrets, the High Priestess is here. They could also be seeing you as distancing yourself here, all right, with the High Priestess or just using your intuition and, you know, your inner wisdom here. But however it is, they are seeing you as sad and unable to move on. Either that or you have turned back to be with them, okay, with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, all right? They could be seeing you also as sad and really needing to move on here because you are, your sadness is consuming you. They could be seeing you that way. Now, the situation here is the Empress, and the Eight of Pentacles is here. The Eight of Cups is here again, which is the Moving On card, and the High Priestess is here again. You could be dealing with a Pisces or Scorpio Aries, because the High Priestess is either, you know, it can be uh, someone who is, you know, the card can show up if you are dealing with those Zodiac signs, all right? But the situation here, I feel like somebody is investing here, or you know, trying to put the effort in with an empress here and, you know, and that could be why somebody is moving on here because now we have the Eight of Cups in the upright, okay? This could be them moving on um, because they could possibly want to be with a, um, a secret. The secret could be the empress here. Um, it could also be that, you know, they are dealing with a Pisces, like I said, or a Scorpio. You know, the situation, too, is that somebody could just be working on their abundance here, and so, um, and also at the same time, moving on uh, because of a high priestess here. This is interesting, okay? Now, the challenge, Aries, is the hermit card and the ace of wands here with the fool. So, there could be a Virgo here, right? Again, um, 
and uh, you know Virgo does rule the Hermit card. I think the challenge here, though, is that somebody has gone done some soul searching here, and they're thinking about a new opportunity, a passionate new opportunity, and that person could be you know moving on here and taking a leap of faith here because they have gone within to figure out what their Ace of Wands is. Okay. Um, yeah. The other thing this could be is that, you know, somebody could be moving on because they know, you know, taking the fool, taking a leap of faith here for a new beginning here, and that is challenging the union here, the situation between you guys, all right? And um, I'm going to be going over to Vimeo Aries right now um, with their true intentions, what they really want with you and what they're hiding, fearing, and the potential between you two, okay, on Vimeo. And the link is below, guys. The extensions are only $8.99 to see all of them. Okay, guys? And um, I'll see you over there.